Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. And today's adventure is about a mixed media painting for a fanciful girl which started somewhere in March. I did show on Instagram how I do my backgrounds. I work on a heavy watercolor paper by Strathmore. Adding first paint and gesso, and I usually work on several backgrounds at the same time, smaller and bigger ones. And my next step will be adding papers, all kind of papers. Now that can be jelly prints, roll off papers, drop paper, photocopy for my own backgrounds, ephemera, scrapbook paper. I think you get the idea. I usually just pick what color scheme I want for the moment. I have a whole stash of all different kind of papers. Now enjoy watching this time lapse. I will step in when I have to say something. And if there are any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. Lately I have sketched this fanciful girl on some chessot book pages and then I made a copy on my printer. As you can see I have been inspired by Willering, so I did add those butterfly wings to her neck. I did fiddling around a little bit with her placement. In the end I decided to put her a little bit higher up and add a little bit of a body. This video is going to be speed up mostly four times. And I also did edit out some parts. Some parts were actually missing because the camera didn't run. I did some initial shading with Distress Crayons and Gelatos in purple. Now I'm going over with some Golden Medium and Titan Buff. Here I'm adding more shading, this time in some acrylic blue paint. To go over the lines again I use the Stabilo All which is water soluble. 
This gives you a natural shading when you activate it with water. I have used mostly soft body acrylic paint from different brands, but here I'm reaching for the gold green colored paint from Golden, which is a fluid paint that helps me to unify the background, but still, because it's a transparent color, let's peek the other colors through.
It is time to take off the painter's tape. It really is helpful when you apply a little bit of heat with the heat tool. It seems to loosen up the glue a little bit. Also, I tried not to add papers on top of the tape. There are still spots where I need some help with the knife. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, till soon!